Hi friends, in this video we'll learn about accrual system of accounting or mercantile system of accounting. Now what is accrual account accrual accounting or mercantile system of accounting you already might have an idea but we will try to discuss it through an example here. Let us say in a business we have a transaction here salaries of 10 staff that means in the business we have 10 number of staff working for us rupees 2 lakh 40 then that is it the total salary for these 10 staff is 2 lakh 40 thousand for the month of march due on 10th april that means they for the work done by them in the month of march the salary which has to be paid to them is 2 lakh 40 thousand but the due date is 10th april what do you mean by the due date based on the terms of the contracts of employment the worker or the employee can demand his salary for the month of march only on 10th april that means for working in March, he can demand his salary on 10th April. Now, the question arises, when should the transaction be recorded? On 31st March 21 or on 10th April 21? 31st March 21, we can say is the day on which they have earned their salary for the month of March and 10th April is the due date, the date on which they can demand payment of their salaries. They have worked for the month of March, we, the business has enjoyed their services in the month of March for which the business owes the workers 2,40,000 but legally they are required to make the payment on 10th April. Now the question arises in the mind of an accountant when should we recognize this amount of 2,40,000 as an expense? This is the question. When should we recognize this 2,40,000 expense? On 31st March or on 10th April? Under accrual or mercantile system of accounting, what we do is we have to recognize the expense in the period in which we have enjoyed the benefits from that expense. So the business has enjoyed the benefit of the services of the staff in the month of March. Hence, the expense has to be recorded in March itself. We'll write the entry, salaries account data are 2,40,000. This amount is due to 10 staff. Instead of writing all their names as creditors, we will write accrued salaries account credit 2,40,000 now what is this accrued salaries account it is actually a, a account which represents the names of these 10 staff the logic which I am following here is salaries is nominal account expenses and losses debit accrued salaries is personal account the business owes money to the staff the business owes money to staff hence credit that is the entry i pass on 31st march that means i am recording the expense on 31st march itself because i have enjoyed the benefits i am not waiting for the payment now what is the entry i'll pass on 10th april what will happen on 10th april i will be paying the money to the staff so whatever money is owed to the staff i will write accrued salaries account debit 2,40,000 to cash account 2,40,000 rupees this is the entry I record in the accrual system of accounting we will take one more example here wages of 5 workers rupees 10,000 for the week ended for the week ended 7th April 21 due on 14th April now workers are paid wages on a weekly basis they can't wait for the entire month for their wages so workers have worked for the first week that is ending on 7th April 21 to these five workers we have to pay them 10,000 rupees for the work which they have done in the first week of April but as per the agreement with them they have to be paid the money only on 14th April now the question arises when should we record the expense on 7th April when they have completed the week's service week's work or on 14th April when they can demand the payment from us 
under accrual system of accounting as soon as we have enjoyed the benefits from the services we should recognize the expense wages account should be debited expense should be booked expense should be recognized in the books of account to accrued wages account now what is this accrued wages this is nothing but this is the name of a register where we are going to write the names of the workers to whom we have to pay this 10000 rupees logic wages nominal account expenses hence debit accrued wages it is actually a personal account giver credit they have given their services to the business the business owes money to them that is why they have to be credited on 14th april now it is a due date on which we have to make the payment on 14th april we have to make the payment what is entry i'll pass i'll pass the entry accrued wages account debit 10000 to cash account 10000 so this is how i record the entry in mercantile system of accounting or accrual system of accounting now suppose we were recording the transactions on the basis of cash system of accounting now under cash system of accounting expense is recognized only on the day when the cash is paid so in this case the salaries due to the staff for the month of march was paid on 10th april so under cash base of accounting expense will be booked only on 10th april 21 we'll write salaries expense account debit to cash account 240000 instead of recording the expense in the period in which the services were received we will record the expense in the period in which the cash is paid so that is a big difference between accrual system of accounting and the cash system of accounting similarly in the other transaction 14th april was the day on which we have paid the workers the wages expense will be booked wages account debit are 10000 to cash account 10000 this will be recorded only on the date when we are making the payment so this is the big difference between accrual system of accounting and the cash system of accounting under accrual system of accounting as soon as we enjoy the services or we enjoy the work or we get the benefits from the work done by some some other party we have to record the expense in the same period we should not wait for the payment that is accrual system of accounting in accrual system of accounting expenses expenses are recognized that means recorded in the period in which services or benefits are received we make payment to somebody only when they provide us some services or when they give us some benefits so only in the period when we get the benefits or when we get the services in the same period expense have to be recognized we should not wait for the payment okay similarly incomes are recognized that means recorded in the period in which it is earned what do you mean by earn completion of service we have completely provided the service to somebody so we in exchange we have to get some income in on completion of the services or on providing of benefits to the other party so we should not wait for the cash receipt as soon as we earn that means as soon as we serve or as soon as we work or as we as soon as we complete our part of the contract we have to recognize the income we should not wait for the realization of cash this is accrual system of accounting in our future videos we will learn more about this accrual or mercantile system of accounting